Alright, let's try to make this fast. I wasn't planning on doing a video quite this soon. But we knew the good times couldn't last. Good times. I am bailing on both of these. Right, so... I started trying to read this book today, How to Make Your Own Rules, by Wayne Rogers, who apparently is the actor who played Trapper John on the old MASH TV show. Everyone loves the old MASH TV show. Presumably this is about business and about running your life. But the whole first section of the chapter I was reading was about economics and the housing bubble and a whole lot of things that I don't really care about and I began to suspect very quickly that the author is writing from a specific political standpoint that was influencing his rhetoric and then I couldn't stop thinking about that. It's a little bit like being caught in a discussion about economics and politics when you don't know or care anything about economics or politics and you don't feel like you know enough to enter into the conversation and to dissect what they're saying in such a way that you can disassemble their own assumptions. And I don't have the time or mental energy for one of those conversations. Is this a bad book? Maybe not. It is a book written by an actor about how to run your financial life. It's pretty anecdote from the prologue in the part of the first chapter I saw anyway. And it's not trying to be academic, it's not trying to not have to not have biases, so fair enough, not what I feel like reading. There we go. So then I started trying to read Anti-Fragile by Nassim Nicholas Taleb. And it looked a little bit more promising. It's got graphs and things, it looks a lot more academic. That's usually more what I'm into. It starts off in its prologue very like immediately into the action. It doesn't feel like a prologue. But I didn't make it past the prologue. There's something about the sentence structure and the way he gets straight to the point that feels very academic, but then he leaps into these kind of metaphors that feel really... not quite misleading. It's flowery. It's not bad in itself. It might be part of an interesting treatise on something. But it's not what I was expecting. That's not what killed me, though. What killed me is this line on the next page. I'm gonna try and read this without doing the thing where I leap into a stupid voice to make my point. I'm really gonna try and read this like serious. Instead of a discussion of risk, which is both predictive and sissy, I advocate the notion of fragility, which is not predictive, and unlike risk, has an interesting word that can describe its functional opposite, the non-sissy con concept of anti-fragility. What? What? Is there some other meaning of sissy that I don't know? Is there some, like, not anti-feminine weird... Like, is there an academic version of sissy? Is there a version of the word sissy that isn't, like, completely insulting to both women and men who have feminine characteristics because that's perceived as bad to have in men? What the... Why is he leaping into this saying that risk is sissy? And, like... You can argue that this is not necessarily misogynistic. I realize I, I take the word sissy very seriously because I've always kind of felt like being called a girl is an insult. Which kind of sucks when you are a girl. But... It's not professional. He doesn't explain it. It's not descriptive in a way that's useful. This does not destroy the credibility of the author. This solidifies the personality of the author is to someone whose opinions I don't know what to listen to. This is unprofessional and just weird. The cover mentions that this guy wrote a book called Black Swan that was apparently a bestseller. Maybe he talks about how sissy Risk is in that book. But you don't lead with that. So that's two books I am not reading chosen in one day. Maybe this was just a bad day to try and read books. Maybe I just made a bad choice of books. For all I know, the rest of Anti-Fragile could be a fantastic read with great ideas that I would learn from, but I just can't even right now. Make your own rules. Maybe it's good for you. Maybe it's got ideas in it. I couldn't sit through the rhetoric. Anti-Fragile? Really not gonna fucking bother with the rhetoric. So I'm, what, like three? Four books in? God, I hope it's four. It's probably three. Maybe I can make one or two more books. I'm gonna try. It's all luck of the draw. You never know what's gonna scrape at your nerves and what's not. And yeah, I recognize I'm not gonna learn anything if I only read books that are highly inoffensive and don't make me think at all. 
But there's a difference between choosing a challenging book and choosing an insulting book, or choosing a difficult book. I, I wouldn't call Make Your Own Rules insulting. It's just not a conversation I wanted to be in. I guess this means the next book's gonna be a surprise, friends, because you're not gonna be see uh, seeing or hearing what it is from me until I do my next review. Best wishes. Nerdfighters.